Hi everyone, Lisa Stains Peck from Spellbound Miniatures here and today we're going to recreate this floor standing mirror. If you have our book Making Miniatures with a Cricut Maker, you'll remember that we showed you how to make this picture frame as one of the very first projects. Today we're going to look at how to do it in design space with the new offset feature. Okay, so here we are in design space and we're going to start with a shape and unlock it and you, it's up to you what size you make but if we are going to replicate say a floor standing mirror they're usually quite a bit taller than a wall mounted mirror so We've got here at the minute, it's five inches tall. Um, that's probably five, five and a half, six inches. Let's go for that. And then what we're going to do is actually do half a mirror and you'll see why. So we've got half of a mirror here and we're going to take a circle, make it smaller, and we're going to want we want to cut the edge out of a mirror. So, I mean, you could make it a different colour if it makes it easier to see what you're doing here. That's the profile that we want. You could have it slightly steeper, or so get it to look how you'd like it to look. And then we're just going to select those two and slice and then get rid of those we're going to duplicate this so you can do copy and paste and then we're just going to flip it horizontally and then we have an exact matching piece and that's much easier than trying to get two circles and line them up exactly the same height and indent on each side. On the iPad you do have some snap functions but I just found this easier and then we're deliberately going to cross them over so that you get the width that you would like or that looks right to you or you could measure it if you want to. So I think they're usually not quite tall and narrow and elegant looking so let's let's go for that there and then you want to make sure that they are exactly sort of at the same height as each other so align them to the bottom we know they're now lined up with each other and click weld and we have one piece so now this is a good kind of trick to do with offset we don't want rounded corners we want squared corners and you can set the size but you can see here that a quarter of an inch offset here is quite large I quite like 0.2 for a frame you could make it whatever you want if you click rounded it doesn't look good so good so you want to make sure you click squared and whether you want a smaller or a larger frame that's up to you so um, that looks quite good to me so we apply that and you'll see now we've got two things we've got the original shape and then we've got the slightly larger shape behind it and as you can see it suddenly looks like a mirror frame and we want to keep one of these so let's copy and paste one of them that is the back of the mirror and then we want to bring in the original and we're going to align them so we know that they're dead center over each other and we're going to slice and then you'll see that we have a 
a frame. This one will be the same as that. And you could, what I did, I'm going to change the colour there to blue. I cut my mirror on the Cricut 2 using the shape so that I knew that the mirror would fit exactly in the frame. It might be a little bit of a tight fit, especially once you've painted the frame. So you could always just squeeze those dimensions down slightly, maybe by just half a millimeter on each dimension. Um, we don't need this bit, so we can delete that. And then the frame, we want to do a couple, at least layers of those, depending on what material you're using. And I used two millimeter chipboard for my mirror back and for each frame. So that was enough depth. Two of those were four mil deep and that was plenty to sort of frame this mirror and just stick out a little bit to give a hint of depth. If you had a thinner material, you might want more layers. So that is essentially it. Um, cut those from chipboard or mat board or whatever you're using and then we'll go on to the next stage but that's just a really really easy way now to create frames by using the offset function up there so we'll go back over now and i'll show you how i painted and finished this mirror so here's the chipboard back with the two matte board frames i glued the frames together and put them onto the chipboard backing i pressed them while they dried i gave the whole thing a couple of coats of black paint underneath making sure to go into the edges of the frame and then I covered it um, also in a really nice white gold effect spray paint which is quite subtle but works really well in a light sort of grey themed room and of course you can do this in whichever scale you like you just need to maybe change the material depth so it doesn't look too clunky so I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial today. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you soon.